What's cracking, guys? Bruce Matson here, your host of the show of Metric Scout Fantasy Football. And today we're going over Lance Zerline's mock draft. This is his third one of the year. It's just the first rounder. And like what we always do, we're going to go over the skill players, the assets for our dynasty teams and rookie drafts. Look at those landing spots and just dream of the values that we're going to be getting in our rookie drafts. Go over the scenarios and all that. It's just an exercise to grease our wheels to get ready for the actual NFL draft. And for Christmas, when we get all those rookie drafts to draft our favorite rookies in. With that being said, though, let's start up this mock draft. Here we are, Lance Zerline's mock draft. Let's read the title, see if we can catch some clickbait. Lance Zerline 2022 NFL mock draft 3.0. Panthers pass on QB. Chiefs trade up for wide receiver help. I'm seeing a little less clickbait right now. I feel like the closer they get to the draft, the less they need to rely on the clickbait probably because more people are going to start looking for the mocks compared to maybe February and January. I don't know. I just kind of thought that in my head real quick part of the conspiracy theory look at this dude's ears real quick those are satellite dishes man huge ears all right it gets me every time it's not the first time seeing it looks like they're gonna be stuck there click this x so we're moving on down here again Josh's gonna be heavy defense Josh's gonna be heavy offensive line but we're looking at wide receivers quarterbacks running backs tight ends for us and wins our first skill player coming off the board here garrett wilson to the Falcons. Mel Kuyper has Garrett Wilson mocked to the Falcons as well. I feel like I've seen him mocked to the Falcons in a few other mock drafts. Kyle Pitts, Wilson, decent tandem. It's going to be the opportunity to be the team's main wide receiver. Kind of got some Calvin Ridley-esque in his game. Good change of direction skills, good ball skills. I like this for fantasy. I feel like over the long term, just going to mold into the into the position there with the team. I feel like he's going to have a good opportunity to succeed over the long term. I feel like this could be a chance that maybe some dynasty gamers fade him in drafts because he is going to the Falcons. Little bit of ambiguity with the offense at the quarterback position. That being said, we just got to see what happens. But I still like him. I'm going to bet on the talent. Moving on down here. And now we're to the Washington Commanders, and they're drafting Drake. London, interesting spot. I feel like this is a good fit, though. Terry McLaurin's there to take top off the defense. Him and McLaurin could be a good pair together. You also got Curtis Samuel. I feel like you got the deep ball guy for Carson Wentz to throw the ball to. He could develop nicely with this team. This team could be sneaky good, especially if London develops. Terry McLaurin's there. Maybe him and Wentz can build a connection. Rookie draft value-wise, there could be a chance he falls in the draft a little bit. People may be looking at Lauren. People may be looking at the Commanders. People may be looking at Wentz and be like, better back off. You may be able to catch him at 105, 106 range in rookie drafts. Catch him at a discount, depending on where everybody else goes. Let's move on down here. More defense coming off the board. Malik Willis going to the Saints at 16. I feel like he's going to be selected earlier than that. I feel like a quarterback's going off the board earlier than 16. He will get the opportunity to play behind Jameis early in his career. He has Kamara there early. He has Michael Thomas, so there is some things for him to lean on. I'm scared of the cap issue here. I'm scared of this team hitting that cap wall eventually. They're working around it somehow, some way. But I feel like this is going to hit them. Nonetheless, though, I, this could be a sneaky good situation if they bring in some talent at wide receiver. The the Saints, though, I'm really scared of this situation for some of these rookie quarterbacks, especially depending on how they manipulate or how they bring in talent or work around the cap over the long term. But as the short term goes, you got Michael Thomas there. As long as he doesn't fall off with old age, you're good. Uh, if Alvin Kamara, you utilize him still, you're still good. So we could be all right here. Moving on down. Traylon Burks to the Eagles. This makes a little bit more sense compared to the other wide receivers that have been mocked to the Eagles. Devonta Smith and Burks, their games are totally different. 
Burks and Dallas Goddard, some similarities there. But Burks gets you some speed downfield, some after the catch ability, bigger wide receiver. This could allow the team to have a little bit more nuanced while on the field. You don't really need more quick guys. You got that with like Quez Watkins. Jalen Rager, it, it, it's it's over probably. It's over. Then drafting three first round wide receivers in a row, old school 1990s Detroit Lions style. This could be an interesting offense. This could be very interesting. I've seen Chris Olave mock to the Eagles a lot, and this excites me a little bit more. Just just because it's a different look, a different asset, something different with the team gives them a different dynamic. I feel like. This could be a good fit. This could be an interesting case how target share works between him and Devonta Smith. This could allow us to get Traylon Burks a, a decent discount in rookie drafts. But I'm very interested here. I think this is a cool fit. So the next pick is Jameson Williams to the Saints. Him and Malik Willis would be very interesting together. I'll say that. Williams can take top off the defense. Williams and Michael Thomas, that'd be a good little duo in the early start. Kamara's still there. This team's transitioning. Uh, we already know the quarterback from this draft for the long term. The cap is, again, is interesting, but at, at the wide receiver spot, it, and especially what we know at quarterback, we got a quarterback there that loves slinging it downfield. Williams can get downfield. Fancy-wise, I think this is a sneaky spot. I think... A wide receiver going to the Saints is a sneaky spot. This could be a sneaky buy because I don't think people will be all about paying up for him. As if you went to one of those high-powered offenses who are looking for a wide receiver in this draft. 20, Kenny Pickett to the Steelers. Another interesting situation. Pickett to Pittsburgh. Staying in Pittsburgh. Smart move. There's less transitioning for him. He knows the city. He knows the area. So his off-the-field stuff's going to be easier for him. We got weapons there for him. Deontay Johnson, Chase Claypool, Pat Fryer moved, Najee Harris, and those guys. This should smooth things out for him. I'm now more interested in him if he stays in Pittsburgh. Moving on down here to the next guy coming off the board, Chris Olave to the Chiefs. Pants are going to be off for a lot of people if Olave goes to the Chiefs. People are going to be buying up. Alave, he may work his way into the top five. This could be our Clyde Edwards Lair wide receiver. I'm not saying Chris Alave is bad. I, I think he's a very good prospect. And I feel like prospect wise, from a wide receiver standpoint, more potential than a Clyde Edwards Lair. But there are some good wide receivers in this class, and he may shadow them a little bit with this destination which could allow us to get some good wide receivers at a discount, which I'm fine with. I'm also excited to see what he could do in Kansas City because I think this is a good spot for him due to his nuanced abilities, his route running, his change of direction skills, ability to make big plays and big moments. Moving down, see what we got left here. Christian Watson to the Packers. I'm seeing him mocked there all the time and i don't know if there's any clues going to this or if it's just the green and yellow jerseys from north dakota state from where he's from or what what's going on here but he is getting mocked to the packers a lot i'm seeing a mock there so much that it's just has to happen now it's it just in every mock draft christian watson to the packers i've seen it multiple times usually younger wide receivers don't pop off until like year two year three with rogers but that could change. That could possibly change. He could pop off as a rookie. Value-wise, that's going to shoot up, just like Chris Olave, just because he went to the Packers in the first round. Moving to the next pick. Brees Hall to the Cardinals. That is an exciting one. Him and James Conner for the first year or two would be interesting. But him and Kyler Murray, spread open offense, fast-paced offense, this would be a good fit. I haven't seen him mock to the Cardinals much. Maybe this might be my first one. I feel like this is underrated. I definitely would be very interested in getting him in rookie drafts because I do like this Cardinals offense. I like how fast-paced they are. I feel like they can churn out some yards. And I think Hall's actually a good fit with his offense. Moving on down. Here, that might be it. Matt Coral to the Lions. This is a good get for the Lions. I, I love this pick. Coral. Coral. To the Lions, Amon Ross St. Brown, 
DeAndre Swift. He's got some pieces there. Don't forget about Baby Hawk. I think he could transition well. Playing in a dome, I think this is a good spot for him to go, actually. He can develop under Goff a bit, take over when it's time. They're probably going to get him more weapons on offense. And this is going to be a fun spot. I think he's going to be very underrated in rookie drafts as well, especially in super flex leagues. I think this is going to be sneaky. Might end up being the best quarterback out of the bunch. But that's it for this first round mock draft. Let me know about these landing spots. You like them, you hate them. What would be your dream landing spot for any of these prospects? Drop that in the comments. But I want to thank you for watching the show. Stick with me. Hit that subscribe button on the way out. It's right here in the middle of the page. Just tap that one time and you're subscribed. That way you don't miss a show. That way you're ready for your rookie drafts and you're going to be the best in your league when it comes time for that. But again, I want to thank you and I'll catch you next time.